Hi there. In this video, we'll try to see how to install the operating system on Raspberry Pi using this new method. Mind well that the videos which are shown in this course are also applicable but they are not applicable anymore because the noobs version or noobs way of installation is not available anymore and there is only one way of installing operating system into raspberry pi which is using the image the name of raspberry pi image is also changed previously it was called as raspbian now it is called as raspberry pi os so let's see how to install raspberry pi os to raspberry pi computer now for that uh, or for this particular exercise you are going to need the raspberry pi os image that we will be downloading from internet then you will require the raspberry pi imager software which is again available to download from internet you will require a 16 gb memory card at least and a usb card reader to proceed with the installation so let's begin now when you go to raspberrypi.org the official website of raspberry pi you will see there is an option called as software once you go to the software tab you will see there are number of different things shown but first of all the most important thing that is shown is raspberry pi os imager or raspberry pi imager this raspberry pi imager can be downloaded with this simple button download for windows or mac or ubuntu whichever operating system you are using it's a very small software which when downloaded will open up like this so, raspberry pi imager using the raspberry pi imager you can also directly uh, perform the installation while downloading the image so you can choose os as raspberry pi os choose your memory card folder over here and click on write but there is one problem in this process and the problem is the image is downloaded and extracted at the time of writing and therefore this process may take too long a time it can become unresponsive and it can also halt so instead of this what we do is we download the image first going into the software raspberry pi os so here is the option that you have to download raspberry pi os with desktop and recommended software it's a big image when you start downloading it will download as a zip file and uh, you need to extract that zip file to see the image now i have already downloaded that image so upon downloading it looks like this so raspberry pi os you can see this is a zip file all you need to do is you need to extract this zip file into a folder and you will see the underlying image into it now what you need to do is in your raspberry pi imager instead of selecting the raspberry pi os operating system simply select the custom option use custom that is select a custom image from your computer although it says custom image it is not any third party image it is the image provided by raspberry pi only the advantage is the image is present in my hard disk so there will not be hanging there will not be any kind of issues coming during the installation now here simply browse to the location i have mine in downloads compressed and here i have my image so just select that image now select your memory card over here and simply click on write button so i'll start writing and the image starts writing or getting burnt onto the raspberry uh, onto the memory card now raspberry pi imager is one such software apart from raspberry pi imager uh, if you want you can also use the win32 disk imager which i have shown in this course to download the same image or there is also one more additional nice software which many people used it's called as balena itcher it just doesn't matter which software you use the process is same you're going to get the same operating system there is no difference into it I prefer using Raspberry Pi Imager because it is something provided by Raspberry Pi itself. So it just feels good to be in sync with the same company, with the same foundation and everything. Now after the writing process is completed, 100%, all you need to do is remove the memory card from the computer's uh, memory card reader, insert it into Raspberry Pi computer and the Raspberry Pi will boot up directly. 
Upcoming few videos will show you how you can start exploring the Raspberry Pi computer and how you can start using it. Only the process of noobs has been replaced with this Raspberry Pi imager method. I hope you will find it easier to install operating system on your Raspberry Pi. If you face any issues, if you face any troubles, feel free to let me know. Thank you for watching this video.